Can y'all believe it? Can you believe it? Finally, we having a baby. Oh my God. Why you brought a ton of bricks to the cookout? It's not a cookout, it's a picnic. So today, me and my husband are finally getting a little bit of r, &R. We've been working our butts off. I'm kind of using it as a segue to break some news to him. Defog the whole area. Are Don't you worry. serious right now? I'm dead serious. You want to eat with bugs? If Remy wants to be bug free, then I want to be bug free. Happy wife, happy life. So I got some strawberries, some olives, which I like. Cheese and turkey and crackers. I got sandwiches. Man, how many people coming today? Just us. This is crazy. What? So anyway, isn't this nice? What did I do to deserve this Thanksgiving of a picnic? Nothing. You're just the best husband in the whole entire world. Why do I feel like this is leading to something? I know my wife, and I know when she wants something, she loves to butter me up. She pulled out all the stops last year when she changed our wedding venue. I really think she got a trick up her sleeve. OK. Where are you getting at? I do feel like you do a really good job being the manager, but I just feel like it'll be smoother, it'll be easier, and we'll have more time to just be like this if we bring somebody else in. So you firing me? No, I'm not firing you. No, you're not you. totally firing me, but you firing me. Oh, my gosh. I didn't fire my husband. I'm just kind of giving him a break to do other things and hiring someone to come in and take over his job. I want you to, you know, be my husband. Look at this. It won't stop. What? Nothing. I'm going into your phone. What's wrong? 2,479 unread emails. What's your point? I feel that with everything that's going on, somebody else should be handling it. It's a lot. I really feel like we should stick to the script. By the look in your eyes, I can tell that you cry a lot. Since you claim you're a shooter, I promise you're going to die shot. Ooh, that's hard. Why you writing rhymes? <laughs> that's hard. Why you writing rhymes? You want to be the manager and every now and then turn into an artist. And I told you I'm more interested in the business side than the, than the artist side at this point in my life. That's where I'm at. I already sat down, met with the lady. I really like her. So you mean to tell me you already hired this person? It's a trial. Like, we're going to see how it works out. Bringing in someone new who doesn't have the same drive that I have to see my wife win is going to be a problem. And it bothers me that Remy made a decision like this without even consulting me. I need you to respect my decision, and everything's going to be fine. Remy just killed that hip hop on the stage. I know Missy got to be proud. So tonight, we celebrating with a romantic dinner. And I have a little surprise for my love tonight. That show was amazing. You killed it. You did a cool, amazing job. At first, I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. Like, Why? Because I was performing somebody that is iconic songs right, right. and performing it in front of them. So it was just like, oh, God, please don't let me mess up. No, but you killed it, though. Thank you. I bought you a gift. There you go. What is it? Every time we come, oh, it's mad light. Why is it in this big bag? Remy has a way of ODing when she got some big news to share, like when she changed the wedding venue or when she fired me. But tonight is my turn to drop a bomb on my lovely wife. Let's see. Is this for my great performance that I did? Is this something I can break? I don't want to break it. <laughs> I don't want to break it. <laughs> Are you serious? Really? A pregnancy test? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even laughing. Like, get this out of here. What do I need a pregnancy test for? Man. What? I think I had a home run the other night. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. I'm dead serious. Do you really just say what I think he said? I thought tonight was going to be the one night that he did not talk about any type of infants, and toddlers, fetuses, nothing. But, no, got to love my husband. 
Babe, you're making excuses. I'm not making excuses. It's not a coincidence that I hit the home run. Since you over here, this little stupid and smirk. me and my mother-in-law noticed a little change in your behavior. I knew you've been secretly plotting and trying to get me pregnant on the low. Don't say that, because that's not true. That That's not true? No. Yes, you did. Babs has been trying to get me pregnant since our wedding night, and he is just so confident. But guess what? He's bugging. He see where my career's at, he see where it's going, and now is just not the time. Why don't you just take the test, man? Maybe when I get home, I do, but I, I'm not letting you pressure me. I'm going to eat my big, giant steak. And when I get the results and I feel like giving them to you, then I give them to you. What? Until then, I don't know. I like girls with gold teeth, faithful don't cheat. Let me handcuff her to the bed like police. Too real for Twitter, man, she's so street. Check her timeline, you won't see no tweets. The last time my husband tried to wine and dine me, he gave me a gift that I wasn't exactly ready for. A damn pregnancy test. But guess what? I got something for Papoose that he will never forget. <laughs> what the hell is that? Kiss. Babe, what is that? Excuse me, your wife is here. Kiss. Okay, my bad. Mm-hmm. Have, Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. A big box as a gift? That's something I like. Is that for me? Yep. But surprises? I really don't know. Can I open it today? Because I know how you are. You'll give me something <laughs> like, oh, you can't open it until... Christmas or something no, weird like that. I'm open it today. You love me? Yes, of course I do. How much? A whole lot of much. This much. Forever, ever, ever? Yeah. More than anything? What are you up to? Answer the question, buddy. More than everything. OK. You can open it. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees what I got in store. <laughs> Are you kidding? No. No, 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 no. Get up, 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 get up. Are you serious? Oh, I love you so much. Words can't describe how much I love her. I'm so happy right now. I can't believe this. Can y'all believe it? Can you believe it? Finally, we having a baby. Oh my God. We having a baby? Yes. <laughs> Put me down, silly. You having a baby? You didn't even get to read the card. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. I know that this baby was the greatest gift that I could ever give this man. And even though I feel it wasn't the right time, you know, who could question God? So, here you go, babe. We having a baby! <laughs> we having a baby! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Everybody else's baby is fine. Everybody else that's around us that's pregnant, they all, but everybody fine. Why am I still be fine? So the doctor tells me that I'm having ectopic pregnancy. The baby is forming inside your fallopian tubes. So we can't save the baby, but the doctor also tells me that I can't have any more pregnancies naturally. He said when he opened it, it was already about to burst anyway, so he had to take it out. So my uterus, thank God for that, at least it's still intact, but we can't just try to have a baby now. I promised my husband that I would give him the child that he's been asking me for since almost the day he met me, and 
I can't do that anymore. I can't. That sucks. Hey, listen, at this moment right now, I'm just worried about you. I just want you to be okay. Oh, I don't want you to oh. worry about you know, how we want to have our child. You know, in the future, I guess we just... It is not fair. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. This is not right. This is not right. I don't care. It's going to be all right, man. It's going to be all right. Why, babe? Why? Why? Like, what What else do I have to do? Why? Look at it. Things will happen. How do I look at it? How do you look at it? Did it the angels in the heavens see how happy you were? Like, it quiet? Down the line, we'll be able to have another child one way or another. And even if we don't, look at me. We still got each other. Watching Remy break down makes me break down, but I really can't show that. I have to be the rock for her, be the person to tell her it's going to be OK. Don't worry about it. We're going to get through it. We just got to take it one day at a time. Regardless of what we got to do, we're going to get through it together. Let's just get you back tomorrow morning. Take it one day at a time. Then it'll be greater later. Promise? Yep. Babe. You're welcome. After talking to my mom and my daughter, I now know that I owe it to my wife to be open about my feelings concerning the loss of our unborn child. I need to get to a place where I can be OK and move forward so I can help my wife do the same. I just want to make sure you're OK and let you know I love you. I love you, too. I really feel like I lost something. I feel like you lost something. We lost something together this life that I thought was going to be brought into this world was taken. And since then, like, that day, like, I've just been an emotional wreck. Right. And right. that's what I think about all day, every day. Mm -hmm. I get on stage, I do what I do, and I come up and I think about that. I promised him that if he gave me my wedding, that I would give him the child that he's been asking me for since almost the day he met me. And I can't do that. And as a woman, that's like probably one of the most hurtful things. It's like, I can't even imagine being normal again. I know that that's something that you really wanted. Mm -hmm. I just felt like if I would have been more on top of everything, if I would have maybe did it when you wanted to, this wouldn't happen. I don't know. The situation is very devastating, and you know I can't say and deny that I'm not hurt behind it. But honestly, if you, if I know for a fact in my heart that you're not blaming yourself, that would make me feel a lot better. I don't want you to feel like it's your fault or you take some kind of blame. You understand? Or oh, I'm blaming you for it. It happened. We both hurt behind it. But we learned from it. Regardless of what, if we never, ever have a child together, I want to be here for you regardless. And that's it. Whatever makes you happy, that's what I want to do. Thank you. You're welcome. First and foremost, I've been through a lot. My husband, black love, I love you, Papoose. When I didn't believe in myself, you believed in me. I love the fact that my fans, my older fans, have remained loyal through all these years. And I've gained some new fans in the process. Here's to you Thank for you. your amazing victory. I am so proud of Remy. We both worked so hard to get to this moment. And victory feels so good. I don't think it's a word that can describe like how you feel like in that moment. Y'all bitches got fat while we starve. Shots in your ass, pads in your bras. Y'all some liars. It ain't no facts in your song. And yeah, that crown is coming back to the rock. We 
ain't tell me you was going to spit those bars like that? He was wishing you was from the Bronx at that moment? Nah, I ain't say all that. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in Beth the Hills Correctional Facility, Albion Correctional Facility. Anybody on parole is hard, but you can do it. You can get second chance. You can make mistakes and come back. I want to thank Beth the Hills Correctional Facility. <laughs> because <laughs> I have people that I care about and people that... That's real, though. That's that real. ...still in these prisons where I spent a large chunk of my life. Although things are going great for me right now, I will never, ever forget those hard times. I mean, when you are alone in a cell, night after night, year after year, it's easy to want to give up and to stop believing in yourself. You have to find the strength in yourself and the support to just keep going. I remember what they used to tell me when I was there. You're not going to be nothing. Oh, it's over for you. You this, you that. And I want people in that situation to know, like, yo, they lying to you. I just feel like like now I gotta work even more hard. Now I wanna start working on my album. Listening to you speaking, you just took, you just taking on more and more responsibilities. Mm. And by now we're supposed to be focused on, you know, doing the in vitro procedure. Babe. You taking on too much at one time. No. After our devastating miscarriage last year, we finally in a space where we're ready to move forward and try again. Our family and this IVF process we're about to go through is my first and number one priority. First of all, most of the things I can do simultaneously, like I can work on my album when I'm just walking around, like I write in my head. Babe, you're, so, not, you're not being realistic. Good thing no one's paying you to think of what I can do. You're only one person. Man, let's talk about my words again. I like that conversation better. Mm -hmm. Like that one? No, not from my store. We are looking for perfect lights perfect. in my perfect store. One of the big moves that I'm making is opening a women's clothing store in North Carolina. It's a lot of work, but me and Pat, we're trying to start an empire outside of music, one that doesn't require a lot of traveling because, you know, I'm trying to start a new family. I'm really proud of you, man. Like, everything you said you were going to do and the way you said you was going to do it, you did it exactly like that. Like, yeah, no, I do what I can, what I do what I do. Well, since you got the store coming together, the yes. house coming together, the house, all your plans are unfolding. The house is, like, not even an issue for me. Can we lay down the ground talk with the about what? making this baby now? I know the timing has to be right with this in vitro procedure, but it kind of feels like Remy's postponing it. It's my job to give Remy the honor her word so we can finally start our family. What I want to do, baby, is right after the ribbon is cut, you know, the whole celebration, you, you get your money, the store's up and running. I want to set it up so the doctor is right there so we can go straight into the in vitro. I'm cool with that because... You cool with it? Yes, I'm okay with it. Wow. I promised you before, I told you, the things that was important, the house, the store, the album. The first two is almost done, and the album we're past the halfway mark at this point. Okay. And I feel like it can overlap, like the in vitro process can go at the same time as certain things with the album. Like, within the next year, I want everything done. Album done, kid born, everything. You know, I want everything to be as perfect as it can be. Well, you don't ever have to worry about this pregnancy being like any other pregnancy ever known to mankind because this won't be the <laughs> oh number one God. pregnancy Yo, ever you in know America. What's so crazy? I was talking to Juju and I, I was thinking the same way you was thinking this is gonna be a slip, this is gonna be the best baby, the best pregnancy, the best everything. And she was like, like, man, like you ever thought about like what if it doesn't work? And I was like, she no. said that. She said that. Like, it's kind of been in the back of my mind now. Like, no, that's something listen, that I never even listen, just, like, thought about. Like, what if listen, it didn't work? You can't speak like that because your words is energy. You don't want to put that type of energy out into the atmosphere. You always want to stay positive and know that it's going to exist. Forget if it's going to work or not. I can't believe Juju would even bring up something like that to Remy. With all of the projects that Remy got going on right now, she doesn't need any doubt in her mind that this child isn't going to happen. This is going to happen. Like, there's no question about that. It's just about when. That's the only question, when you're ready. You know? I'm ready. I told you I'm ready. All right, so if you're ready, then we don't got to doubt it. Everything's going to be perfect. We could. my husband to death. But I feel like he was very insensitive in blaming me with the whole lack of an IVF doctor. But 
after I went a bit off, I guess. I got my point across. Pebbles found the IVF doctor. And even though it took a little time to learn how to love and remind you every day that I care. After Remy and I lost the baby last year, the daughter starting this process again is stressful. We both came at each other wrong, but as a good husband, I want to let Remy know, no matter what she goes through, I got her. This kind of love. The emotions of what we went through last year is playing a role in this year's IVF process. It's finally becoming a little bit more real, and we could both finally get on the same page. I'm a little nervous. I'm getting my vitals taken just to see if the IVF procedure is even an option for us. I really don't know what I would do if it's not able to happen. It's finally the day of the baby shower. The theme is a 1950s soda shop. Think Grease, Happy Days. much love in this room and we've come so far for me being away in prison and us not being able to be together and us getting pregnant <laughs> and then losing the baby. Everybody else's baby is fine. Why not stay to be fine? This is the first child that I get to have with my husband, the love of my life. This is the baby that we've been waiting for. This is the golden child that we're talking about. And we're almost at the finish line. And I plan on looking back at these days as, you know, some of the happiest moments of our life. I heard your heartbeat. <laughs> History in the making, baby. The golden child is here. Surprise, it's a girl. Being able to welcome the golden child into this world after so many disappointments and heartbreaks is nothing short of a miracle. She's perfect. She's a little bundle of me and Pat fixed together. It's amazing and I love it and I love her. I heard her heartbeat and I immediately fell in love with my baby girl. And now that she's here, that love knows no boundaries. This is the moment we waited for. And it was worth every trial and tribulation that we ever went through to get here. I'd like to introduce you to Reminis Mackenzie Mackie. Signed my record deal a little over a year and a half ago. And as soon as I signed my deal, we went through the IVF process and I got pregnant with the golden child. Spent a couple years on them papers, now I'm out. They said my baby need a crib, so I bought my daughter a house. And then I was a new mom, and things kind of got behind schedule. A, B, C, D. Hey, let's take these up. You don't need that no more. As much as Remy loves being home with the family, I can tell she's very happy being back in the studio, turning out new music. This is Remy and her element. And now that she's off parole, she can have the best of both worlds. That <laughs> fire. Curse me. Her version <laughs> is. Nah, but you know how I get when I hear them quality bars, man. That's what it's about. That's how I want to hear you in real form. Thank you. Know? You. you know you're my favorite rapper again, right? Yes. Okay. Everybody I speak to, first thing they say is when Rem dropping the album. Like, yo, the fans is really waiting for this album. I'm trying. I feel like the fans have been waiting long enough. It's time to go. It's go time. To be honest, I really don't want you to be overwhelmed with putting too much on your plate. I mean, you're my priority. The baby's my priority. My album is definitely a priority. I'm taking full responsibility, man. Everything I do, I make sure I keep it close to home so I don't go too far from the baby. I love my husband, Papoose, and I appreciate everything he does to try to help 
but I can already tell that juggling family life and work is definitely gonna be a problem. I have a baby literally attached to my breast at times, so it's a lot harder trying to get anything done. This. Uh oh. Only coming for this and that. Yeah, got me on the ground, but I'm back up. McLaren, there's no lack of. I'm off parole. I'm off parole. I can party all night. I'm off parole. So of course, we gotta celebrate and do it right. I got the memo to wear black and white, so I showed up looking a little bit like Beetlejuice. But that's okay, because I'm here to party with my girl. Hey, yo, y'all make some noise, yo. Remy's off the road, yo. All my people, my friends. Even my mentor, Fat Joe, showed up and turned out. So this means a lot to me. So I just wanted to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I'm so happy that you all could come. I'm going to be honest, I don't have much to say. I'm just happy that I'm out past 8 o'clock. <laughs> I got some new music coming finally. I yes, 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 yes. And um, that's it. I just love you all night, and I'm so happy. I got a little verse I want to do for my wife. Yo, Doug, put that beat on, bro. All right. All right. You ready? Check it out, y'all. Say black love. Black love. This ain't no industry relationship vacant. You're acting phony, corny, front, and then you on to the next. You looking lonely. Uh -huh. This is loyalty, trust, lust, faithfulness, dedication, honesty, modesty, discipline, celebration. Other couples try to be us, but see us, we planted nurseries. They ain't even make it to see their first anniversary. Got outlast the best of them. Just say when, cause they ain't stand the best of time. We a decade in. Uh -huh. You can't fake loyalty with royalty. That's a dub now. All hell the invincible black, black love. love. Oh. Peace, y'all. What love, y'all? <laughs> Pap always got something up his sleeve. I really had no idea he was gonna do that. And I love him for it. I couldn't ask for a better husband. What up? It's your boy Richie D. Thanks for watching. And if you like that video, make sure you subscribe to the brand new Loving Hip Hop YouTube channel.